Hello Minecraft fans, welcome to another episode of Soxcraft. I'm Socks Way Up, and today, well, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do today. Maybe we'll just do some randomness. So we'll start off by digging some sand. We need to get some of the sand removed. We're gonna remove some blocks and, you know, some sandstone and some stone. Get that removed as well. And add a little bit of water, because uh, everyone likes water, and that needs to be added to this area. All part of our expansion, we are adding this river, and it's something that I do while I start to ponder what do I want to do for this episode. So, some of the other things we did is we went and checked the stores. We wanted to get our yum yum collected and restock the shelves a little bit as well. You know, filling it up as much as possible for the rest of the guys on the server to have rockets. That seems to be our main source of income, but we also possibly might have sold some iron. We did. So we're going to have to AFK there eventually, get that back up to... To get that stocked enough, I really want to get it to the point where I can do, you know, one yum yum per full stack of iron blocks. I just need AFK a lot more to do that. Then we decided what we're going to do for the day. We are going to build a little house kind of for maybe a stonemason or a blacksmith. Going to be a tiny little house in this new village that we're, we're kind of expanding. And it's been my idea the whole time. This was our starter area. It seems super dark out is that that's the sun right but yeah so we're gonna build a house right here um the light team are bad guys gonna spawn right now this just doesn't feel right well hopefully we don't get attacked by too much while we build out here let's get our boxes down with our material you know some andesite it's not andesite acacia logs we're gonna place some of these down we're gonna strip them as we go um i don't know why this is I really miss Java sometimes, but we're going to go over six blocks here. We're going to place another one down. Go over two more, and then we're going to go over three and then in three as well. Strip all of these, and this design will start coming together as we go along, and you'll kind of see what all of these different posts are for. But we want to get the foundation laid down, and then we'll start building it up and, and get this build going. We'll three over, three in. One, two, three, one, two, three. And there. So we want the gaps to be three. Confused myself there for a minute. And then we should be able to just put one in the middle here. And then kind of just copy that on this back side. We should be able to just see across. Yeah, just look across and we should be able to place that down. Strip that one. Come on over here. Strip that one. And put one last one in the middle. And then it'll be time to raise these bad boys. All right, so I wanted to jump over here and give kind of a view of the layout. Um, I think one of those middle ones is off. Yeah, we'll fix that. But we're going to go about eight high. So we're going to do the entire height of the building here. And we'll strip these four and go up three more. Get those stripped and then we'll kind of rinse and repeat a bunch of times over. Double check our work there and do it nine more times. All right, so there's the base layout of the structure. And now it's time to fill in the foundation. We're going to use some of the deep slates. We're going to use the polished deep slate and the, I think it's called brick deep slate, the uh, deep slate bricks. So we're going to get that going. Right here is where the doorway is going to be. So let's grab one of our stairs. We're going to put that like so. Grab the door. We're going to come inside, put it around that way so it's in there to add a little bit of depth. And it's one of the things I'm working on is making a lot of depth to the eye on these builds and kind of mixing the blocks a little bit just to get the foundation going there. Yeah, I like it. I like the way that's turning out. I, it's like Halloween theme here. Halloween theme base. And then we're going to add some terracotta up on the top level. So I want to get just the front of this done and kind of give you a good view of what it's going to turn into. And then we're going to jump off camera and do a lot more of the detailing and, and then show you show you the progress. But you can kind of see that tiny little house, the, all that really can fit in this area. And we're going to do a bunch of these around this area long term. There we go. Those are the windows we're going to have. And there's Another update. Jumping forward in time, let's do a little flying around here. See if we can get up on top of this tree, maybe. And... We missed. What the heck? 
Uh, zoom in. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's back up. Let's give you a good view of what's going on here. Being goofy. But yeah, this turned out nice. We got the roof started. We just got to do the side of the roof, add some more windows and some more detailing. And we'll show you that in just a second. All right. A lot of work's been done. There it is. I think it's pretty. That's the main house finished. We still got the side to do the little porch area, but I think it turned out great. I love it. I love this idea. We still got to do that area over there, but it fits this area perfect. This is the color scheme. We're gonna have to break it up in the future with different colors on houses. I'm just kind of nervous to do that, but I forgot windows. Where else did we forget windows? Let's see. All of those are there. Yeah, we need to put something here. Let's add a little bit more design to the back. Let's try some upside down stairs here. Yeah. And then maybe grab these slabs and fill in the gap on the top side there. Yeah, I think that gives a nice, nice extra depth to it. Maybe could have done a different color with those, but I don't know. I really dig it. I really dig the deep slate and the orange the mixture is great. And this has been bothering me for a while. Let's just take care of that. All right, so that's taken care of. And this area is next. And then there's more windows missing. All right. Okay, so before we did the outside, I wanted to kind of show you what we did on the inside. It's not completely decorated, but this is what we went with. And yeah, some of the space is still empty. We got a little kitchen here, threw up some paintings, but then upstairs we made a nice little bedroom. Yeah, little seating areas and then oh oh I, I forgot that wasn't done yet I forgot that wasn't done yet um yeah that's the that's the inside this is how the outside's looking and that was kind of that was kind of awkward so here we're gonna do this area next all right another update saying the word all right again let's switch into ray tracing the whole thing's done it's looking pretty not too... I just don't know if I like it in this view. I like showing it. It's super dark in here. Switching it back out. Now we can see inside here. Here we go. Nice little lava. Some stone cutters. A little fireplace for them to work out here. We might move some villagers in here just to have some life in the in the base area. Or this... this I forget. I don't even know what to call it. Village, I guess, we're making. Let's go upstairs. We can see the kind of balcony that we have outside. We already showed this stuff. That's right. I'm not 100% sold on this area yet or how we did the fireplace up here. It's kind of skinny. We might make that a little bit better, but I love the backside, the design of it. I love the way that looks. It's pretty unique, I think. Something unique to me or the way I, I build at least. But overall, that's the that's the complete build there. Um, it was fun. Came together really nice and, and really quickly. It was, I was very pleased. So, one thing we haven't done in a while is checked in on everyone else. We were over at a secret little location that Beardoff is starting to, to build out. You see this little nice archway entry that was natural. He didn't even build. Just loved this area when he found it. That thing. We'll get to that in a second. This is his little house. Um, it's decorated nice. Ooh, lava. Wonder if we should take some of those. I love the interior design. I kid beard off. It looks great. I know it's a temporary solution, but let's jump up into this pipe. This thing is sweet. I'm super excited to see how this turns out and where he's going with it. Only things I know so far is it is going to go to the left there and down into the water and continue with the green pipe, the green glass part of the pipe. Don't know how it's going to turn out. This is one of the areas I keep coming to to see some updates. I don't know if I've showed this on a video, this beautiful path that he made. We'll walk up that a little bit, and then we'll head on over to some of the other areas and see the updates that, that people have done. And here we go. There's the shop, just for reference. Okay, so here... I don't even... Bounty's still there. What is this? Stuff I broke. B. Please fix Andy. All right. Andy has a job ahead of him fixing broken things and the smelter moved and this is the very tall tower that is growing trees on top of it now it looks like it's turning out neat I, I'm not really what what is this what is this sea spray in 
Sea spray and let's see what's going on in here. This is kind of cool. A little, what are they called? A lobby little, where the hostess or the, what are they called in hotels? The greeters in the hotels. I forget what they're called. Nothing in these barrels. I like the little flags, the uh, banners. Great detailing in here. Who, who killed a rabbit? Why are they killing rabbits? And another room here and another rabbit. Okay. Yeah, but they got those nice little open windows here. You get the sea breeze or the sea spray in the end. Pretty cool. This, this little community area is turning out pretty sweet. And this build here hurts my neck to even just look up at. When is it going to end? I think he's going to get to build limit. That's my guess. And I think he's up there building right now. Yeah, let's head on over to Andy's area and see if we can find what he's been working on. I know he's been online a lot and there hasn't been much progress in his base. So we're going to fly over here. We're going to pick up a random area in the water and we're just going to dive down and guess that he's building down there. Let's see what we can find. Look at that. I found it. So I came over here earlier and I did find it and stumble upon it. I wanted to pretend like this was a surprise, but then when I watched the footage and it, it could, I couldn't pull it off. So this is sweet though. I've been wondering what he was using all of the... How can I not remember what the block is called? All the courts, <laughs> all the courts that he was wanting to trade with my villagers and now I know. This place is looking really neat, really cool. I love how it's hidden under underwater. I've always wanted to do something like that. I'm kind of jealous of, of this. Where does this all go? But I, I honestly have not been in it this far. Uh, I didn't even know the inside was here. I just knew he was building underground. This is pretty sweet. So this goes... What's that guy doing here? Are there villagers back here? Is Andy a vill... Maybe he has him as a bodyguard. But this looks like a, another entrance. Does it continue? Does it continue over here? Oh, maybe it will. That's just a cave right now, though. That's kind of neat. So there's this little side entrance. I'm not really sure exactly where that is. Um, or how to get out of here. There we go. All right, let's go back over here. Find our way out. But Andy, this is looking great. This is looking awesome. I dig it. I dig it. All right, flying back over. I think this direction's south. I don't, maybe it's, yeah, I think it is south. So we're heading south here to this new area where we have a new addition to the server. And let's see what's going on. We got some logs laid down. This looks like it's the beginnings of a tree trunk in my guess. Um, but yeah, our buddy Devin decided to join the server. Super excited about that. Um, more the merrier and more people that we know and miss miss playing games with so i'm glad to see him on the server it's exciting uh turtles over there but let's um let's help him out it looks like he was starting to grow some trees over here so let's uh let's go ahead and bone meal a few of these or at least one of them maybe that'll help him along with his build but this will be exciting this is another area to come out and check out i i, I based on what i see already I'm, i know there's a plan so that'll be that'll be pretty cool and just kind of give a idea of the distance he is from from my base we're gonna fly back this way there is y Coop's tower of i don't know that thing needs a name i don't know what it's called look there's some progress while we were gone so he is actively adding another layer all right those more poop blocks wasn't it bird poop on top of the trees that's what it looked like Back to our build. I do like that. I'm able to land on the roof here. Go look at everything around my base. We're gonna have to do something with the field. Um, yeah. I have another project that I'm starting to work on for the next episode, and we're gonna need a lot more paper. And the reason these random blocks are here near my sugarcane farm is I've been coming up here and being impatient and bone mealing these. We're gonna need a lot of paper to do what we need to do in the next episode, and I don't wanna give anything away yet, but paper is the big thing. Multiple reasons we need paper. I'm gonna need to fill up the rockets soon. 
And there's other things that we need paper for. You know, stay tuned to the next episode for that, but it looks like this isn't bad. Oh, that's my AFK area. So we're gonna jump back over here. We're gonna see how we're doing, because I actually think there must have been a lot of growth. This AFK farm is actually working pretty well while we're building that house. I kind of totally spaced that we were within range for that to be working, so that is a pleasant surprise. Uh, let's put these away. So we're gonna put them away in our, you know, fancy little sorting system, but we're gonna put them directly in and not use the automatic sorting. That's actually a good start. That's exciting. But we're gonna end this episode by going and hiding in a corner here. We're gonna do a little look at stuck on a wall. We're gonna do a little AFK session and start off the next episode with some paper and doing things with paper. But yeah, I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out. And I will catch you on the next episode of Socks Craft.